So I'm fishing in a game called Mabinogi. It's like a fantasy life type thing, Adili. Where like you could do whatever you want. I mean, it's fantasy life. Like but not Sims not... type thing, or? Who? Glad you asked. If there is a Sims yes. MMO. <laughs> I was I was kind of I mean... scared you were asking like some ridiculous question, but no, that's acceptable. Um, so it's kind of <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like Sims. Um, at the bottom. So you can go I'm fishing like... in Sims. I've got HP, <laughs> MP, and Stam. So if your Stam gets low, you have to eat food. Um, and the same way you get wounded and just like drinking a potion won't recover wound. If you're hungry and you use your Stamina, you can't recover up to actual maximum Stamina. You recover to wherever you're hungry up to, if that makes sense. It'll make sense to the people that actually look at this for like two seconds. Mm-hmm. But like my max stam is 159, but I'm a roughly set 66%. I'm sorry, I had flashbacks to like fishing and Minecraft being like 10 years old. <laughs> I'm like 63%. Which has old. vastly improved, I think, since I last did that. My goodness, did you watch the Xbox thingy? What? Xbox has like a pre E3 thing. That just aired. Um, it was also live streamed on YouTube and Twitch and whatever. Um, I pay attention to nothing having to do with Xboxes because I don't own one. I don't own one either. I've never owned one either. <laughs> so I wa I just looked at it because you know, if there's something that's not an exclusive, then some other system can get it. And if it looks really good, I'll watch people playing it because I. I'm mm -hmm. one of those people that watches people other other people play games. Um, I do that too, but I still watch games that, for the most part, I could buy and play myself. Like I don't I don't watch people play Xbox games. As a PC gamer, I watch people play PC games. Okay. So um, like, that's I, just me though. I I have a PC. I mean, it's a laptop. It is specced out, but it's still just a laptop. I'm playing on a laptop too. Okay. Now I don't feel as bad. Um, no, I used to play. I used to play a few games on a MacBook Air, and gross. then I just recently upgraded to a gaming laptop because my ex-boyfriend and mom split and got it for me as a present. Because <laughs> I I bought the MacBook Air before I got into gaming. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Uh... A Facebook machine. I don't even. I never <laughs> even used Facebook either. A uh, cam whoring machine? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> you might want to cut it. that out of your video. <laughs> I don't edit these things. I'm so serious. I, it, I don't edit it. I really don't. No, um, so I should have first, more of a filter. No, you don't have to. I mean, I don't feel. <laughs> that's what makes it fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be super bored if I couldn't swear or anything. Oh God! Yeah, I, I couldn't even do these. I, I couldn't. I couldn't either. I'm too bad of a person. Like, I, it's hard for me to keep myself from swearing unless I, like, I'm at a church or something, and even that's hard. <laughs> Not that I'm really ever in a church unless somebody dies. If I'm in the company where I'm afraid to say, like, uh, oh my god, instead of oh my gosh, or oh my golly, or oh gee, if I don't even well, feel like I can say oh my god, drama. I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> I've never even heard anybody say oh my golly. That's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because we kind of don't run in that crowd, Charlie, and I'm stuck under this. Never mind. Okay. Wait, are you playing something oh, right now Jesus. as well? Are you, are no. you playing? No. No, that sounds indicative of you playing something right now. <laughs> I mean, it hasn't impeded with the conversation so far. It hasn't, but I'm now I'm very interested. Unless there's... Oh, no. Wait, <laughs> That's exactly what Charlie was afraid of! <laughs> <laughs> He's just afraid to admit that he plays this game. I'm not. But I won't say what it is for his sake. Thanks. If it's what, if it's what I saw, then I want to start questioning you. Oh god, no, don't. Jesus Christ. Does it, does it... What do you mean what you saw? What's the first letter? No, no. We're not we're not Is that mm -hmm. is it I mean I not can give you a huge hint. Not can on you a give recording. A small hint? Not on a recording. 
Okay, how about this? No. If you actually look at Discord under oh, my name... Oh, no, that's what it is? That's horrible. Don't... Why? <laughs> exactly. Oh, no. Why? I think that was Charlie's like worst fear is that you'd have that reaction. Exactly. Well, I'm sorry. I play Mabby, right? Mabby has far fewer skills. Far fewer What's skills. That? I've never heard of it. I know you. Ha it's Korean. It's a little Korean sandbox fantasy life thing. It's Korean. Yeah, Mabby is Korean. Oh god! So, like, I've been thinking it's Japanese this entire time. <laughs> Wait, why? Why do you think it was Japanese? I don't know. Mabinogi. It just kind of sounded like that. It does. It doesn't really sound Korean. Huh. Yeah, but then again, I I know pretty much no Korean, so... Yeah. yeah. I mean, I could look at Korean written down, and um, I can usually tell what... Same. I mean, language. I speak Chinese, so yeah. I can tell <laughs> the difference between all the languages. I mean, Korean, <laughs> Korean has a lot of uh, really round and circular characters. Japanese yeah. and Chinese do not. I've... Learned so, I mean, it's pretty easy to tell Korean from at least separate from everything else. Yeah, I've learned some Japanese. I can recognize kanji because mm -hmm. it's one of the languages that they use in Japanese. And then Korean yeah. because of certain b-boys that want to be all fancy with their names. Mm. You know, strung up there. Anyway, play Mabinogi. I think you'll like, besides the fact that you would be like a total noob. Um, and I'm still a noob at everything I've, that, I, that I've been playing for years, so. But I mean, Mabby actually has a combat system that is complicated. So even though I you're mean, using... Are you inferring that what we're already playing doesn't? So there... Also, I'd say that uh, from what I saw of Mabby, I mean, I don't know. From... I, I think there's other things that are also complicated, too. So, mm -hmm. I saw like what Charlie was playing bit. once before, and I know that's hella complicated. But, when I'm talking about complicated in combat, I mean, if you get hit, that means, like, physically hit for any amount of damage, there is a reaction from your character that takes you out of whatever moment or flow that was happening. So, it's like Dark Souls? It's more <laughs> like Dark Souls, but... I love Dark Souls so much, and Charlie hates it so much. Wait, I don't actually hate it. I, I want to play Dark Souls so badly. I, I do too, to but we're always waiting, because we a lot of us in the yeah, friend group play it, group. but <laughs> everybody wants to wait for everybody else. Now that we're, we've moved on from Dark Souls 1 to Dark Souls 2, everybody's like, oh, I don't want to get ahead of everybody, really meaning Charlie. Because three out of the like five or six, or, no, four out of the five or six people have already played and beat, beaten it. Charlie and I are the only two that have not completed the game before. I haven't so played it. I've watched, I've watched through Souls 2 and Souls 3. Souls 2 I don't know anything about 3 Amazing. Yet. Souls 3 was kind of weird. I didn't like the ending. But it makes don't, no sense. Don't say anything. I, I hate spoilers oh. so much. Oh, small. yeah, sure, seriously, she'll fucking yell at you. Small I screeched for, at Charlie yesterday. For the for stupidest spoiling. fucking, not, yeah, like, it doesn't like matter random, at the fucking all. He spoiled yeah. a random, insignificant, irrelevant NPC's death in, a, in the game we're playing right now. And just because of the principle of it, I was furious with him. I don't even uh, care about the actual spoiler because it was minuscule. But I just hate it when people spoil stuff for me. So I, I was, it still sends me back to having Harry Potter spoiled for me as a child. Wait, what was spoiled of Harry Potter? I was never one of those people who could, well, when I was younger, I wasn't one of those people who could be like, oh, I totally know what's going to happen here. It's so obvious. Everything that happened was a surprise to me. So I didn't know what was going to happen in Harry Potter. And I had that shit spoiled for me. There was, Wait, uh, like what spoiler? Dumbledore dying. Oh man, everybody fucking. Oh, uh, I can't I believe at... that's the spoiler. Like that that is the one that crushes you because that everybody fucking says that. No, this like I mean I don't mean now. I mean a long time ago, before all the movies were made, before all the books were read by everybody. I know. What is this like? You know. Everybody and their me mothers. Timbers. I hate dog. it. Says that. 
Dumbledore. I know, but the first time I heard it, so mad. So now every time somebody spoils anything for me, just it takes me back to that moment. Okay, so there was a paper, or act, someone actually studied this, um, spoiling a story. Like, is it actually bad? And it turns out that when you, for the overwhelming majority, uh, not overwhelming, the majority of people, when something is spoiled for them, they end up liking the material even more. So knowing, say, that Dumbledore dies, now you're like, oh, I know he's going to die. But now, you don't know when it's going to happen and how it's going to happen. So the little idea that Dumbledore is going to die is an inevitability, right? It's sitting out there, and now you can focus more on the story. I mean, That's... as much as I hate to disagree with science. <laughs> so it's not, it's not all, not all people, of course, right? This is just mm -hmm. the majority of people. If I spoiled a TV show for you, um, then in, if I spoiled Neon Genesis Evangelion, oh my goodness. <clears throat> that is a complicated show. The more people spoil it for you, the better you can understand the story when you're watching it yourself. <laughs> okay, but if it's like a listen, part of other, enjoying it, the surprise factor. That's right, what I so think. The surprise factor can be offset by you trying to pay attention to details to understand what's going on, and you're missing part of the story for trying to cap capture all the information, all of the narrative. I don't know. I've I've always been one of those people that's really good at figuring out what's going on based on the context. Have you which... ever watched a TV show before? Yes. Then I think you understand what I'm saying. I mean, I understand what you're saying. That doesn't mean I agree. <laughs> then what's the point in rewatching then? You really because I enjoyed that. it once, I'll enjoy it again. Oh, but it's spoiled for you, isn't it? You know what's going to happen. So the <sighs> enjoyment coming don't, from a, don't fucking do this to me. The enjoyment's coming from a different place. You're you're getting more of what's packed into the story, and you don't have to worry about the plot anymore. I'll I'll I'll. I don't know. I've got a pretty bad memory, so a lot of the time I forget things that happen, <laughs> and it's a surprise for me all over again. I'm rewatching Trigun right now, and it is great. I'm trying to understand who Vash is. So before, it was like, what is Vash? And now I'm trying to find out who he is. Um, interesting guy. If I could... He's like one of those unbeatable characters in a TV show. It's like you know he's going to win. And when you're watching it, it's like, how does he win? Is the reason why you're watching it. And now I'm rewatching it again just try to know like what does the guy actually stand for now that i know I have, exactly how he wins I have everything absolutely no idea what it where it came from but all of a sudden i really need to watch kill bill again oh my goodness i watched that movie i think three times i need to find somebody out here and like prepare a dinner and watch kill bill under some blankets yes well <laughs> Do you, you have a friction on the hands? <laughs> yes. Conniving, conniving me. <laughs> um, but I really need to rewatch Kill Bill. I've, the last time I saw it was like two, was it two years now? No. I think it was three years ago I watched Kill Bill. So I need to rewatch them. I wonder if they're still on Netflix. Oh my goodness. I watched it on Netflix too. I don't have it do. anymore. Shoot. I need to find somebody. They're taking Futurama off Netflix soon, and I'm <sighs> so mad. They've taken so many good things off Netflix. I have a hypothesis as to how Netflix works. Elaborate. I would love to hear this. So you can have like a popular show on. You know, they have so mm -hmm. many shows, so many movies, so many documentaries. Yeah. And they'll say, we've got 7,000 TV shows. And like 3,000 movies, and we're like, wow, that's a lot of stuff. So mm -hmm. I think they really have a certain number of views 
per movie or per TV show. So it can be really, really popular, but it'll only stay up for so long because their their like rental their you know user limit is full. So after mm-hmm. seven thousand watches, your TV show or movie will be out because they've only rented it in quote seven thousand times from whatever company. So those really, really bad yeah. shows, they stay on forever. But that's just because, mm-hmm. you know, maybe, maybe it's because they, their little watch count hasn't run out yet. So they'll always have a ton of cool, a ton of stuff, but the cool stuff will be limited. That's just what I think. I don't know if it's true or not. But that'll explain why Sharknado will always be there for me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get like 20 minutes into the first one. No way! You need to watch Sharknado. There's like seven of them now, aren't they? Charlie? Aren't there? Charlie? You gotta find what? Katie, and you're gonna sit down and watch Sharknado together. What do you mean, find me? One, two, three, and maybe four. And... <laughs> what, what do you mean he needs to find me? I, I Okay. I don't know where you guys are. I'm like not by you. I'm assuming we're online. Um. Yeah, so you will watch Sharknado together, or make sure somehow that she watches the Sharknado, and and enjoys it because it's Sharknado. Well, I mean, you can force me to watch it, but you can't force me to enjoy it. I'm pretty sure as soon as you're watching it long enough, you will enjoy it. Didn't it have that one hot actress that? did like nothing else or just, no that's not what it was that the, just the, there was this one hot actress and there was something something about her that was like notable for some reason but i don't remember what it was if you remember her for one reason and the, you remember her by her hotness it might just be her hotness that you're remembering no i think i had like seen her in something else mm. i don't remember act- mm. actors and actresses or actors names I, I remember names and I remember faces, but I never remember whose name goes to whose face. Oof. Wow, gosh. That's a useless power. I know, right? <laughs> Grow your fingernails. <laughs> I also <laughs> I also remember usernames really well, like people I play games with. Okay, that makes sense. Like Talk that's crazy, that's why Dante. <laughs> that's why when we play Overwatch, I'll look at the enemy team and be like, Oh, I played with them before. I do that a lot. Except there's also in Overwatch, you can have like multiple people that have the same name. I've seen so many fucking this night nights. True. This is also true. Ooh. I had never got into Overwatch. I'm not a huge fan of FPS. Triggered. I'm not a huge fan of <laughs> no. FPS. So there are people who don't like it. I don't know. The one character, I, mean, I don't know. I think it's. I'm not sure why. The only character I like that is in some kind of FPS, is Samus, because she's awesome. Who? Samus around. I think Overwatch is the only FPS i played. Oh my goodness. Well, there's, there's like, one shitty ancient from, like, 2005 that I think I still have downloaded. Well... That, whose name made absolutely no sense to the what it was. It was it's called Assault Cube. I remember just, like, one guy told me about it a long time ago and I downloaded it and it was just like stupid addiction. It's so bad. The graphics are terrible. It looks like it was made in 1987. Okay, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but still. Assault cube. Yeah. I don't know. But it's Is it the cube assaulting you or are you a cube? No, it has nothing to do with cubes. It's just, that's why the name makes no sense. Ah, Misnomers. Nothing to do with cubes. You're just a little dude shooting other little dudes. There, if, as far as I know, there's no backstory. There's no reason. There's just a few maps, a few game modes, and you're just a dude shooting dudes. So I saw a little thing. I think it was called Boom or something. Oh, my goodness. Horrible. So the game itself looks interesting. The way they, they hyped it up. It was for the Xbox thing just now. It looks, They had like uh, the Terry guy... You know, with the muscles and yells at you. Um, and he um, was that he was like the main character. And he's like shooting his like plasma rifle or something, and it was really funny. 
And then you go and look at the gameplay, and you wonder, like, what's the point of this game? Is it just to blow things up and fight mm-hmm. each other? Like... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 because there was something else. It was like a, just a battle royale. You know, 100 players in a, an area, last man standing is the winner. I understand the premise of that game. It's obvious. Mm-hmm. But then, this game... It look, it's graphically superior. You know, it's got way better hype. But I did not understand what was going on. At all. And if it's if it's just, you know, a Battle Royale game, I get it. But they at least need to tell me when they have all these bright colors and elaborate weapons and, you know, freaking free running on... on, on on the city's on the city skate. <sighs> Sometimes I'm I'm convinced that Xbox is just an FPS machine now. I mean, they have a couple racers, a couple of this, but it just seems like every only thing people want to do is first person shoot. Nothing else. Mm-hmm. And it's a little annoying. Well, I mean, it's pretty fun. I yeah, I bet it could be fun. But it feels like you're limited. Slaughtering other people. It's pretty fun. You'd be surprised. Yeah. I'm, not I'm just kidding. I suck at everything I play. Well, I mean, I'm not great at FPS, but if it were a good no, game... No, I, I literally suck at everything I play. It does, I don't think it matters if you're good <laughs> or not, but if you can understand the game and enjoy it, then that'd be great. Except I can't. With some, like, you can watch COD, right? And that can be really exciting. But I can't watch certain games and just be excited for it. I don't know. Ah, okay, I'm I'm done. I'm done with that pseudo rant. You wouldn't call it a rant, but hey. Yeah, whatever it was. (laughs) Whatever it was. Talking? Just talking. Yeah. It didn't really strike me as a rant. It wasn't a rant. Forceful, angry, and forceful. Is that? Do you have to feel my words through the mic? No, just like what you were saying. I don't know. I don't know. I think going off on a tangent and going on a rant are getting a little bit um. I can't think of the word. Switcherood here. Let's uh, go with that. Switcherood. Yeah, when I don't know what the, like, when I can't think of the word I'm trying to say, I just, just find just try to find the next best thing, which is never better. That's fine. Gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Call it what you will. <laughs> Gosh. Switcherood isn't gibberish because gibberish, gibberish is something you can't understand because it's ununderstandable, ununderstandable, whatever. If that's even close to a real word, no, it's not. Well, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make a point. Well, I think that was a you. Perfect you example. understood. That was a perfect example. You understood <laughs> what I said and what I meant by switcherood. <laughs> I'm very, very fluent in English. It's not (laughs) gibberish. (laughs) I don't know. That's going on a rant right there. Okay. (laughs) Something I'm pretty damn good at. (laughs) I have learned something today. I'm glad. I'm glad that I could teach you something. Because that's not something I'm usually doing. Not very much that I know that other people don't. Gosh. This is definitely... This time around, we've had so much less direction. Yeah. Is less direction a good thing or a bad thing in this? scenario or do you think having like non sequitur videos and structured videos are good i think that uh in this case um i just i don't know 
what you would title this video to get someone to watch it for non like... sequiturs. See so the only thing yeah, is but if like... you didn't know what non sequitur meant, then this would be like blah, confusing. I I only know what it meant by context. Yeah. Excellent. But what I mean is that like <laughs> for anybody that like if they're looking to see a discussion about a certain topic, this doesn't have a certain topic. Mm. Yeah. People would have to just really enjoy listening listening to us just go on and on and on to want to watch a video like this. Well, I mean, this one is only, it's its rounding out to 30. It's at 25 minutes now, so it's not horribly long. And I oh, thought, that's true, because we, we stopped and... Yeah, I switched right. locations. So it's a little bit more exciting, but I'm still fishing. So I'm not you sure how... You switched locations? Goes. Yes, and I'm sorry, I, I still would never watch you fish. Like I just, <laughs> fishing isn't engaging enough. I would only watch it in this context while, like, as a little... Oh, look, he caught a fish while I'm listening to philosophical discussions. If you could even qualify this as that. Not, this would not fit in the in the domain. It's not philosophical, so. but like the way I would listen to this, I, I would probably, I wouldn't watch your video. I would be listening to it as yeah. I play something else. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Just so. being That's what I would do. That's Honestly, what I do. Your fishing effort is probably wasted, but we appreciate it. But yeah. I mean, like, I'm not... As long as the fishing is useful it's, to you. It's better It's better than just having a black screen exactly. and expecting somebody else to, to listen instead of watching. At the same time, it's like, you know, it's about as good as a screensaver. <laughs> Still, it's, it's something, and it shows that he put in the effort to actually give enough of a shit about his viewers to put something there instead of a black screen. If there are any viewers to this. I mean, I'm seriously have like <laughs> freaking what 20 subscribers or something like that. And I don't it's even know. You, you got to you got to plan for what you want. Yeah. Um so there cater to the viewers you don't have. There's still a de- <laughs> <laughs> So there's still the debate channel and there are some really cool things that are up there. So if you want to actually talk about a real topic, it's not too difficult for me to actually get content. Um and we can just like sure. switch through that right now if you want. Let's go race. We, like, race right can- now. <laughs> I was gonna say, can we go through them so I can be like, nah, yeah, sure on that one, nah on that one. Okay, so give me two seconds, come, and uh, brains. One, two. I'm just kidding, I fucking hate it when people do that. Drives me up the wall. Anyways. Okay, so there's... <laughs> Don't you judge me, Charlie. I can feel the God, judging. You're just so negative. <laughs> I'm so negatively opinionated about everything. <laughs> just so negative, but at the same time, you sound so happy about it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I fucking hate when people do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes it okay. That's because if I if I do a cute giggle afterwards, that makes the horrible bitchy thing I said before almost acceptable. <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, I do I also, fake laugh to fool people. I also just can't help it, because you know me. Everything makes me laugh. I make myself laugh. I know. I've had so, this discussion with someone at work where, like, you know, someone just said corn and she fucking burst out laughing. <laughs> corn is a very serious topic to me. <laughs> <laughs> me too. You, got, you guys, I don't... I, I don't appreciate that you're laughing about corn. It's, that is, it's more of a It's not the corn thing. itself. Yeah. No, no, no. Like, I do think corn is serious. I, no, but just The fact that you're us. laughing right now, that's... I don't know. You're, 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 you're offending my, my agri- agricultural sensibilities. It's not the corn. I, I, it's what it only, means in our friend group. It's, it's only, become a meme in our friend group. Oh, oh, God, don't send me. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to stop this little <laughs> video thingy, like, now, and then we'll resume or do something else a little later. Bye, guys, world, people. Bye. Charlie? Yes? Say bye to the world. Hey, not bye. Not like that. Got to cater to Love the you. viewers you don't not have. Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Love you.
Silvio's 20 subscribers. Uh, uh. And family, for maybe. I don't know. 